Can you repeat the name? Eli Glass. Go ahead. Thank you. Right As it will be for a lot of people, this screening of Tenet was my first time in a theater since March. This makes the experience more intense. For the critic screening, physical distancing wasn't an issue. All the chairs have been marked, so we can only sit in certain seats. But tonight, theaters are already selling out, albeit at reduced capacity, all because of... Tenet. It'll open the right doors. Some of the wrong ones, too. The first fresh blockbuster in over five months. What we have put in place has been, um, it's, it's been serious and it works. With cleaning and distancing procedures in place since June, Cineplex says it's ready. We've been getting a lot of comments that people, they feel safer in a movie theater than they are anywhere mm. else. But not everyone agrees. I think you should be asking yourself, how badly do you want to go and see a movie in a theater? Number this one, ER doctor says many parts of the movie experience increase the risk. Concessions are open, so people are eating, so masks are coming off. Uh, it's a long period of time to be kept in that enclosed space. Um, movies can be emotional. People can cry, people can laugh. Um, so you're adding the risk of maybe spreading some of those respiratory droplets. The world premiere of Trolls World Tour what? What? Ooh, is now in your home. While some smaller films have gone straight to streaming, part of the pressure to put Tenet on the big screen came from director Christopher Nolan. He is a huge proponent of the movie theater experience, and Warner Brothers is a very filmmaker-centric studio. Here we are. And so with actors like Tom Cruise, who's not even in Tenet, Back to the movies. Hyping up the experience, the industry waits to see if audiences will consider going to the movies a risky business. Back in the movie theater, everybody. Eli Blaster, CBC News, Toronto.